Okay, this is Thursday, uh, January 19th. I'm meeting a day later than usual because of the hosting always gets complicated when there's a Monday holiday. We didn't post quite early enough. However, here we are. And first uh, item of business as always is to read the minutes from the previous meeting. Oh, present are oh. Russ French. Yep, uh, Lori Lucier, Roxanne Parent, Lee Whitcomb, and by Zoom, our town administrator, Veronique Blanchard. I don't know, some of this did we, we didn't really do. Yeah, we didn't really get to reviewing the frequently asked questions, did we? No, but we didn't review additional pages. I think or... that's why there's no discussion underneath it. Right, okay. Oh, so if it's listed. It was the, it was It was on the that agenda. agenda. Was, oh, but we didn't do it. Right, right. you'll see no discussion. Right. It or did, they'll say so I would, it I just, would... it doesn't say anything. Well, make a note of it. Eliminate number eight, which is to review the FAQs on our website. No, you're not eliminating it because you basically okay. are tabling it for the, the future. All right. Well, what about seven? We really didn't talk about that. Well, I gave you all of the captions and you, everything. You did, though. And asked you to start building the pages. That's... But, oh, but we really didn't talk about it as uh, at the meeting. You just gave me a... No, I'm, I'm hoping maybe you've had a chance to do some of it and we can talk about it a little bit tonight. But we'll see. Uh, and the property cards, codes, and descriptions really uh, attaches into that. Those weren't in there, were they? I consider that as part of the property card education module. Right. Yeah. But I okay, those weren't actually in there. Okay. It's all it's all do it's all containing into that Zoom meeting. Yes. And information. Oh, or the yeah. Information mm -hmm. that goes on the website. Yes, property also. card information that's going out. Okay. That will be made public. Yes. So um, will we accept the okay. Let's see. There are the minutes. Which of interest from last we tabled it, we tabled that. Um, I mentioned the time. Would you motion to accept? I second. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any discussion? Have I some eyes of your votes, please? Aye. Aye, aye. aye. Okay, three in favor. Um, minutes are approved as written. Yep. After a bit of discussion, so uh, here, if you want to initial all initial that copy. Oh, I gotta get a pen. No, I gotta look at those. Mm -hmm. They don't look like the most current. Like we have no new mail and invoices, which is nice. There are no oh. recent sales or no new listings. And we have one permit. one permit. It's been an exciting week at the assessor's office. It's probably the plumbing permit, the construction one that we heard about earlier. It is a bathroom. It's a bathroom, bathroom renovation. Right. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's the same as the downstairs bathroom that was being rebuilt for accessibility purposes. Oh, okay. I'm going to update the agenda that I'm putting out. All right. Uh, and we're going on to abatement applications. Number three, in regard to the one that we denied last week, 
we have the denial certificate here to sign. So that was already voted. And what one was that? NSTAR. Oh. oh. Signed, uh, I mean, the application where everybody signed it last week is. Right, that's right here. So, yep, right there. So, this is just about finishing up the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay, this is a new one. Slightly, yep. Oh, yeah, I remember, yep. All right. Uh, nothing changed here. Minutes. Oh, recent sales. Okay, abatement applications. There are still two applications on which we haven't acted yet. Uh, however, I did hear from Gwen Rayfield. Uh, she gave me a call and we had a chat and... She will not be able to take us, show us through the house, but David supposedly called her son, David, who lives there also, uh, will be taking care of it. She said he is away right now that he had tried to call last week, but didn't in response to my phone call. So uh, I can try and reach him next week and see when we can set up an appointment to visit that house and uh, consider the abatement there. And Jim Matus wants to walk the property, of course, with us. Uh, this is the land down on Whateley Road. There are no, he does have a small camp, an eight by 10 shed, basically a shed with a deck, but it's a little camp cabin. Mm -hmm. You can put a sleeping bag on the floor type thing. And, and it is outside 200 foot distance from the brook, but he says it's not a buildable lot because approximately 90% is wetland since it's within 200 feet of Roaring Brook. Which certainly doesn't have much seasonal change over you there. Did pull up the site map to see if it's. Oh, I'm going to, yes. Okay. Oh, I, actually, I did, yes. That's here. Does it show that one? Okay, that's the survey. Well, I did do one. I did do a map of it, including the topo and the state wetlands. Mm -hmm. There is. There would appear to be building space along here and down here in this corner. The question is, uh, now this is 400 feet. So if he has to cut it at 200, you're right here. You still have 200 feet here, maybe 200, 300 feet here. Would you put a house back there? Could you put a house back there? Well, that's something we need to think about when we're looking at it. But it, if he's calling it a 200 feet from the brook, I'm going to check with Bruton Strange also on that. Uh, it's certainly, it's not navigable by well, any means. I was going to say, is it navigable? I no. mean, otherwise, it's 100. Right. And that leaves plenty of room. 100 would leave plenty of room. 100 would take it back to about here, all the way down. Out here, like that, and back. But so, to put a lot, you could have a nice space up here, depending on the topography of that area so you're saying if the brook is not navigable that, that yeah i mean the south river they call navigable right right yeah so if it's Rubber not duckies. if it's little brookie or if it's a if it's declared wetlands oh yes. then it, then there's a hundred 100 feet buffer zone yep. and that's not saying you can't do something in it Right. You just have to apply for all the permits. Conservation oh. Commission okay. makes this, the determination. Is this a piece that maybe he should have ComCom look at to see? I think it'd be brilliant. It's considered myself available. if he did have a request because for they determination. Could come in and look at it and say no, there, there's just no way. That's right. But I'll ask in case they've been there already. When the cabin was built, they might have had to go and see it then, because the cabin was built close to the brook. Then. Complaint was made, and yeah, he had to move it. I don't remember, oh, really? 200 feet. Mm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is all from the Rivers Act, the State Rivers oh. Act of 1996. Okay. Yeah. And it does determine what you can do with your land that has, uh, has running water and within a significant area of that. So that's that one. There's Gwen's. Um, 
So what do we want to do? Just table all the tools? I think yes. We'll keep them in mind. I'll see if if uh well you just have to wait until you can get out there. Yes, yeah. until we can get out there. So it depends dependent upon weather and when he's available. He lives over in West Chesterfield. Yeah. Just as a little fill in for the quick moment or it can wait. Hold on a minute. So you're holding two for site visits. Yes. Well, this actually calls these can be considered mail. Notice of poll hearings from Eversource. Uh, North Poland World, the two polls that have been impacted by the bridge work. That's oh. from me. That's not mail. <laughs> and Manning Road. They are moving one pole uh, on the west side of the road to be approximately 35 feet from where it currently is. We also have this a copy of uh, Veronique's correspondence with um, Major Scott Kelly of the Salvation Army regarding the property over between Shelburne Falls and the river, right along there by Emerson Hollow Road, mm -hmm. the other side of the road, that little narrow neck between the river and the road, which was inherited by Mary Bay and her brother Robert. When we found this out, Robert had already passed away. But he left his entire estate to the Salvation Army uh, in, well, the Salvation Army. Um, we don't, uh, her property, her, her estate is under the direction of her cousin. He's representing that. So the town voted at town meeting to buy this piece mm -hmm. to help with protecting the South River and its habitat and working to control flooding when needed. So these are letters to both parties uh, regard to explaining the situation and to Judith Waldo, who owns a piece just north of that. So if you'd care to look at those, but that's to keep us posted as to what's going on there. Sorry, I went oh. back to number one. I don't remember <laughs> Okay, the abatement applications. Uh, the first one would be Car uh, Carla's sister. Oh, it's just come out. Carla was <laughs> Roxanne's sister who's just coming in the door. Perfect timing. Good. Let me bring the chair over. Uh, so this is, this is actually where the grit pile was. Yes, exactly, where the grit pile was. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, know you know where the grit pile is. Yeah. <laughs> It's a small town where you know where the grid pile is. Yeah, you know where that is. <laughs> Only in a small town in New England. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh. Oh, your papers are there. That's all right. Go ahead. What is this? You need to yours, right? Yes. 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 Okay, we'd like to wind up the Harlow application tonight. And all right. Um, Robert and Carla Harlow, 355 Barbells Ferry Road, five for abatement. Excuse me, for four different questions. Number one, the siding on the house, terrible, more than 50 years old, chips and cracks all over. Number two, the Open porch is not measured out correctly. Number three, the barn is over 30 years old and the roof is leaking and the metal is not up to par. It's rusty and the screw seals are losing their goodness. Number four, the terrace, what we had called a terrace, um, it's a walkway to the back open porch, open, open porch. The walkway is only used for walking on and <laughs> <laughs> oh, and number five, the bathroom is typical for a 50-year-old house. Okay, so there are several questions there. We went out on a site visit uh, for the on the exterior of the properties, and we refused entry to the interior. We remeasured the back porch and have corrected that and checked out the brick walkway. And I did not print out the new. We have great pictures that Carla had taken in good weather and sent to us. 
Okay. Um, our notes from the visit were that the porch floor uh, between the back deck and the house is uh, the ends of the boards are all rotting and the threshold there as well. The we found more than more than a dozen dings and the vinyl siding and one significant crack out by or damage out by the front of the garage about a, at least a foot long. The leaks around the plastic panels uh, on the barn. When they built it, they used the translucent plastic panels in some parts of the roof to add light to the building. And it's leaking around them. The porch roof, the back deck roof, is has does show signs of leaking. And again, the ends of the boards are in poor condition. So um, there we go. I'll get the corrected, the card with the corrected measurements. Carla, do you have anything more you'd like to add to the uh, questions, comments, anything you'd like to add to your application? Your thoughts? I don't think so at this point. Okay. What's it like out? Is it oh, slushy, oh. slippery, slippery? I was thirty-two or something like that. I think it just dropped, but it's not like okay. I didn't, I didn't change yet. the drawing yet. No, we're all together. Hmm? I, I didn't change the drawing. Go down the driveway. Oh. Oh, so you don't have a new? Uh... I will make one as soon as. Uh, that's twenty. Mm -hmm. 23. I wanted us all to do it together. Should have done, been doing that probably for the last half hour. At any rate, the rear step. There we go. Ended at the house. The There was no deck there. You watch where I'm, you can see where I'm. Mark, do you want to see this? Yeah, I can see it. Then here's the deck. And we measured 17 and a half by 16 and a half. So I'm calling it 16 by 17. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the brick way <laughs> comes out here. Yeah. And comes to the end of the deck mm -hmm. and is seven feet deep at this part by 12 feet. And then the walkway part of it, what I would call the walkway part of it, is four feet coming out to the front of the house, four feet wide coming out to the front of the house. So one question I would have is whether the seven by 12 area is, is just a walkway, although that's how it's used by you folks, or is a patio. I don't think there's a lot of difference in the valuation. I just want to describe it correctly. The... Okay, the covered bridge, uh, covered deck, the <laughs> bridge. Okay, I'll go make these changes and reprint. <laughs> oh, go ahead. What are you calling this part? A walkway. That's one of the things we're going to be talking about. Okay, I just know this. Now we have not ever valued or taxed people's walkways. This, you know, the, where it's leading up to the steps here, something like that. Right. This part leading around the garage. And so we will take that off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, however, that back portion that is larger. What are your thoughts about that? Well, I didn't think we we taxed that type of stuff anyway. Those small areas. Okay. 
it probably is amongst the smallest of any. Lots of that's. I'll go with that. If it ever gets expanded, we'll look at it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll recognize that as brickwork, but we will not value it. So that means we uh, correct the value there and on the little uh, back step that has no roof on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the dimension is that going to change? How That's going to change it a little bit. Probably not going to change uh, the value a lot. Four, not a lot. It's four feet here, but we're okay. adding a little porch, you know, the little deck there. Okay. So to make it correct, so that's not going to be significant. Um, Wait a minute, we'd would, had, you, would you say that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> we had had the back deck at 21 feet wide. Yeah. We're reducing it to 17. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And putting in that little back step that has no roof over it. It's yeah. just being a little open right. wood yeah. deck mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. So the overall value is not going to change very much there. Okay, so the deck out back was changed by 17 by... from we seven. It was 16 by 21. Okay. Now it's going to be 16 by 17. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Does that sound? Yeah. Uh, okay. So the siding, right, the open porch. Uh, on the barn, we did see some signs of leakage. We took care of the terrace and the walkway. We cannot act on anything about a bathroom. What do you mean act on anything? Because we didn't have an interior visit. We had had it as modern. Right. Uh, instead of being a 50 year old, which would generally fall under typical. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, may I please, these two? Oh, this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. As we were thinking about this, it had been understood by us in the past that if a person uh, refuses an in interior inspection, inspection on an abatement application, that we can deny the application completely. And we, I checked into the law about it to be sure that we're correct. And certainly a taxpayer who fails to uh, allow an inspection loses the right to go to the appellate tax board. That's absolutely clear cut. Mm -hmm. And I missed out on that one. But <laughs> the authority of a board, you now this is from Massachusetts chapter law. The authority, uh, a person applying for an abatement of a tax on real estate or personal property shall upon request, exhibit to the assessors the property to which the application for abatement relates, mm -hmm. and if required by assessors, shall exhibit and identify such property, and further shall, upon request, furnish under oath such written information as may be reasonably required by the Board of Assessors to determine the actual fair cash valuation of the property to which the application for the abatement relates, including, but not limited to, income and rents received and the expenses of maintaining it. Um, that seems to say quite clearly that we cannot act on a bathroom that we haven't seen. I, I don't know if I can comment, make a comment. You can ask uh, a question. You can make a factual comment. Okay. You can't, not, I'm not, a, I'm not think of opinion. Right, well, I'm not gonna okay. vote on or anything. Right, right. But, because I think you said last time that it was changed, the bathroom was changed to modern because there was a permit hold for a bathroom. No, kitchen. I mean, the kitchen. And you changed the bathroom at that time also to modern when it was typical before. Because you said the, the application is only for a kitchen mm -hmm. and the bathroom seemed to get changed at that time also. And that's all I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It changed so from typical to modern when that, mm, what do you call it? When that was pulled mm -hmm. for the kitchen only. Does that override our? 
I don't know if we got it in writing. I mean, if, if the permit, do we mm -hmm. still have a permit or a copy of it? Yeah. Because I think you mentioned it. that the last time. I don't know. Yeah, I got that. Um, but that's what she said because she wrote on here typically. Mm -hmm. Well, that was when Carla and I were talking together. Mm -hmm. I can't make any of those decisions on my own, but I made the note about it. Yeah. Should have took some pictures. Um, of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, install new kitchen. This is Kevin Downey's applica uh, application. Involves demolition of one non-bearing wall, approximately 12 feet, feet long, rewiring to bring up code, new insulation of exterior walls, re-sheetrocking the kitchen, and sheetrocking the living room ceiling. You said living room? Mm -hmm. Living room. That's not right. You didn't touch the living room. Well, that's, well, that's, what's that's on. what it said on the permit. <laughs> I don't know what work I've done, but that's what was requested on the permit. <laughs> okay. Then we have the electrical that was done at the time, rewire kitchen lights, switches, receptacles, dishwasher, microwave, and refrigerator, etc. Install sub panel. Yeah. And lots of air sealing and insulation. Over the years, a couple of projects. Yeah, mass. Can I put in a that. gas fireplace? No. And a generator. No, he just he just did the plumbing. Yeah. So we didn't see anything about a basket. No, the permit did not. So I moved to put that back to typical. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. Well, I will go back to typical. All right. Let me make changes here. Would be stinking when you did that. Yeah, that's that's kind of weird that you put that in. I know that maybe he was thinking at the time he was going to do that. No, but I don't think we even talked about that. Oh. So. Maybe he meant the dining room. Dining room, eating kitchen. It's all one room, so <laughs> not too big. We're supposed to get three to five inches of this slush. Is it going to be wet? Crap. It's raining now. Oh, so it's kind of like sleet, rain, snow. I guess mm -hmm. that's what they said at noon. Yeah. Well, Nick's over in Concord, New Hampshire, and there's it's not doing anything over there. Mm -hmm. Well, has it just not got there yet? Or well, I don't know. I don't know about that. What's it doing up north? I don't know about that either. <laughs>
Now it's supposed to, are we supposed to get it all day tomorrow too? Supposed to be a break tomorrow morning and then we're supposed to get some later in the morning and more through snow. noon, mm -hmm. more snow. Well, I have to say we've actually been very fortunate. Yes. We haven't had much of anything. No, hopefully it stays. I know. Safe. It's been mild. That's a problem. It's a problem? Yeah, the, the mild part is. No, it's not. Why? Yes, it is. Okay, you like you it, like it cold? No, it's no, a hard it, thing. It, it, in our business, if oh. the apple trees don't harden off. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. And they have to prune them. They normally want to wait until they get really frozen. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the tree can be damaged when they prune. Uh, so it, it's. Yeah. So yeah. you're looking at it that way. I, I'm looking at I it. I look at it from a business <laughs> point of view, and yeah. that could lead to a problem this spring. Uh, mm -hmm. So could. Well, or sometimes when it's so mild, they blossom real early and get a frost. Uh, and That's all. Yeah. I also have to add 1910. <laughs> That's a pretty good picture. Not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Not bad for 1910. What is it? Oh. My grandfather's high school photo. Oh, oh, what school? I don't know. It was in Canada. Oh. oh. It was in Canada. Um, a woman from, oh, what the hell is the name of the college again? Yeah, they say high school oh, college will? up there. Because Stansted will? College. Oh, the yeah. archivist at Stansted yeah. came across it and right sent, me, sent me a message and said, hey, you want this photo of your grandfather? It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> huh. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's like, of course I do. I don't have any pictures of him when he was young. My goodness. That's just I didn't meet him until he was that. 70. Hmm? That's just over the line. Really? Oh. You didn't even meet him till then? Well, let's see. Does it happen? He was probably in his 60s when I was born. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of estimating. Yeah, he lived nearby. No, it's not that it, it's no, we saw him all the time. It's just oh, that see, yeah. he was that old right, when was I was old, born. Yeah, to start with, right? <laughs> Right. Because he was oh, ninety-eight. He was old. He was ninety-eight when he passed away, and I was in my mid-twenties. So, well, you weren't interested in people at ninety. <laughs> um, was, really one yeah. question: Those ships, they're on the back of the barn. Yeah. Uh, when did you add them? Oh God, they've been there for years. I just, I just painted. The, the barn was built in ninety-three. Well, let's see. I think it's on here. And we had. Storage shed. 2000. Um, 92 demo shed. Huh. Well, let me see what they look I'm just drafting them. That's the thing. You're what? Because they're actually with two different structures there. One is open on one side and the other is closed. Yeah, we just uh, closed that up. I had estimated that they were, you put them on around 2000, seven, eight years after you built the barn. Yeah. Well, that would be 20 years old. Mm -hmm. That would be 20 years old. The sheds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm so not, she, uh, you know, I don't know. We don't have any pictures of that, do we? <laughs> no. How come they don't take a picture of the barn? I did when we were there. Oh, you did? Yeah. First one. Um, I don't have my papers so, on that. Are, are you adding uh, the picture of the barn to the property card? Yeah. Okay. I'm we, adding the sheds to the back of the barn. Oh, because there was no barn on the property card. Here. Oh, it didn't happen to me? Yeah. No. It'll all be on now. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, I'll just leave an effective year 2000 for now. You've got on here, on this one, uh, uh, one of them here. I don't have, I don't think I have 20. If you went back to 20, you might have it on there or even earlier than that. Let me see about my 18 um, property card. I didn't know it at the time, but I never got the back side of it. It was only the front side that right. I got for those, but it was on. Well, that would only make it three years old. 
No, no, no. That's I'm saying different. it might have been on that back of yeah, that one. I don't oh, have it. Oh, that was in the other system, but it's very easy to look at. Okay. Um, <coughs> seems like it was probably in there at that time. Yeah, we have it as effective year bill 2000. Oh. And that, but they, they seem to be a, you know, 20 year old shed. Okay. With basic maintenance. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're starting to. Yeah. Them. So, yeah. It's amazing how fast time goes by and everything's old. <laughs> I tell you, when we did the when we did the kitchen, I still had seventy wallpaper on it with the orange and the green and the, holy God! So now, when you look at real estate and you go, you look at the wallpaper and you see, well, I must have been in the seventies. <laughs> you fit right in. Yeah, I did. Yeah, well, it was cool back then. Well. I've got to calculate. We're having a problem with the program right now. Roxy knows about it. I had sent in an inquiry to have them look at it last week, but they hadn't. So I sent again today and they said it's been given it to a specific one of their technicians, but he hasn't cut in touch with us yet. And it's at the end of the process after we put in all the descriptions, square footage, categories, and all that. To run off the uh, oh, so it's things. happening on everything. Oh, on everyone, yeah. Oh, I thought it was just that one. No, no it was happening on everyone. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. But the changes will be the correction of the back porch, covered porch, which is 16 by 17. Mm -hmm. The drawing in of the small back stoop you have there, mm -hmm. which went from the house back to the door, mm -hmm. um, was four feet wide. Eliminating the brickwork mm -hmm. from valuation. Mm -hmm. Now, with regard to the exterior condition of the house, for its age, would we see any change from the... <laughs> What year is that? Make sure you're looking in 19 there. What's this? What's that over there? Four by we have had That's the exterior in good condition. Wait, what is that? It's flower. It's a flower bed in here. It's, it's so, taking this brick around. So that's not being. I don't think that's in. No, that's just vacant space. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just see it measured out. Right, like, right, right. No, so I was just wondering. As a, as a default from the brick. Okay. Uh, the exterior of the house, if we think the roof, the walls, the soffits, the siding, we had had it as good. Do you feel that's still the most appropriate rating, Russ? You could probably go down one. The average. Yeah, that's, I'm what, in that's, what, that's what I would say. Okay, so we're going to do the exterior to average. So I'm afraid I have to say that those are our determinations. <laughs> And we'll have to see what the how the numbers fall off when this thing gets fixed. Okay, Can we do. Sorry to interrupt. That's all right. We're not interrupt. A motion for the board to accept these changes and determinations as discussed. I think that's a very good idea. Well, we got we still got one more. Yes. We got we got, to, we got to do the roof on yes. the roof on the. Uh, that's right on the barn. So the condition yes. of the barn. What if we got that? <laughs> you know. I don't know, was it on a property card? Or no, 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 there's nothing about the card. We had it is in good condition. I put that down to average, too. I agree.
the only other thing on our application is the bathroom and you, you changed that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, so you want to make I think Laura right, made a good good idea. I move on to approve the abatement and that we okay go ahead and discuss. Okay, just a second. Yes. Um so the barn was a grade C. That was so. that was well, it was a grade good on there. Or the grade grade was average. That's the grade is the construction. Oh, okay, because it's yeah. on this one C. Yeah, that's no, average for average. construction. Okay. But okay. the condition what, was listed as good and we moved it down. This is the it. condition right here. Oh, three. Yep. So that is good. So you're moving that down. Move just moving down that down to average. Okay. Right. okay. So based on the questions brought forward, the board has agreed, has decided to change the exterior condition of the house from good to average. To remeasure the porch. With a final measurement of 16 by so the covered porch on the back with a final measurement of 16 by 17. Yes. To change the right condition of the barn from good to average. Excuse me. To delete the brick terrace, the brick of the brick, the laid brick work on the side of the house. Yeah. Okay. And to not act. Uh, on the question of bathroom value, but to put it back to its prior classification as typical. Have I a second? Second. <laughs> Any further discussion or questions? I think Carla has. I just got a question. When you said the barn, is that counting the um, sheds on the back too? No, just the main structure. Okay. So the sheds on They're the average, average, I think already. We got right here. Wait a minute. Right. No, they've just right. gone on. Right I've here. just added them on. So it's five. What's that? Five is. That average. was a different. The so top three, top three, three is average and five is average? No, three, three is average. Oh, five is average. Oh, okay. So the new categorization okay. for the two sheds on the back is correctly measured so it now. Goes down, it gets... the, the two sheds on the back of the barn are yeah. correctly measured. Okay. And are listed as average grade. Okay. In other words, quality and average condition. Okay. All right. Okay. So yep. we'll add that to our comments. Yep. Okay. Any further discussion? I think that's it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> we'll notify you as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, uh, nice try. <laughs> and yeah. is it, will you be sending out a copy of the new property yep. card? When the new property card is done, mm -hmm. I will do the abatement certificate and send her the new property card. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I just want to keep all my paperwork <laughs> together. Okay. Okay. So I'm and done. Thanks for coming in again. Yeah. No problem. Drive home safely. Yes. You know well, I got my. Nick told me I could drive his truck. Oh, good. Got in it and I didn't know how to turn it, put it in four wheel drive. <laughs> I don't know how to turn the lights on. Oh, oh boy. My God. I know. They're, everybody, they're all different. All the Fords are the same, basically. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Can you guys be careful on the way home? Oh, yes. Thank you. We will. No phone will be any later and we can help. Believe me. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um, that takes care of abatement applications, but do we want to discuss this issue of denying an application if inspection is denied? I don't understand how you could approve making changes if you don't actually see. Right, not in, I, I think in that in, if an interior, yeah, but in this particular case, some of it was on the exterior only, and we were permitted very happily a full exterior inspection. Mm -hmm. So I think that we can logically and legally split the two. Well, well you make changes to what's appropriate. Right. But if someone is at, in future is applying for abatement on the entire house, then we need the, the interior. Well, yeah, if they're, I would say if you're at saying something inside, you have to see it. Well, I, I would think 
An entire house is the discussion. interior and, and exterior. If someone's saying I'm, the value of my house is too big, too high, and that's all you get. And that's then, all we get. Then, that's, oh, oh, then oh, we oh. have to see the interior and the exterior. Oh, so they weren't specific on anything. They're just right. saying I'm overvalued. Overvalued. Yes. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You agree? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yes. It's a change yes. of mind for you, I know. No. What do you mean? Well, you applied on your house in the past and refused entry. Well, wait a minute. Do we want... No, I'm just simply saying. No, we don't want to. We no, don't, no, because, because those are closed <laughs> issues. But moving forward. Right. Moving forward. But I was... I believe, based on these laws, that if someone replies for an application for abatement on their house... Or uh, on an interior portion of their house. Yes. Doesn't have to specify that. And right. They're saying, oh, house. Right. That includes then it the in, an interior okay. inspection can I, is can I, compulsory. Please, I, under, I get that. I do, and I agree that. But when uh, interior goes up, okay. So I don't know how to say this without talking about mine specifically. Well, that's don't take, take any house. Okay. So if the if, if an it's normally is, average, or well, it was in one year, it was average. Then all of a sudden, you see, and it's good. I guess that was is why I if, question it. If why did it go from average one? Well, they sorted to, that that out. I know it's a, a pro program issue and con conversion issue. But when someone comes in with an application, if the interior inspection of their house indicates that the interior is of better quality or condition than we had realized and had calculated, then it will be going up because we'll be correcting it to what it is. In, or, in other words, if we had said, yes, we'll get out. Sure. Wait a minute. But well, that's, it says someone's changed, to, the, it says it's good. And they say, no, 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 it's fair, it's average, it's crap. And you go in there and you think it's very good or excellent. Now you're going to, change it in Based either on, direction you're going right. to either change it in their favor, fair, favor saying yeah okay it is just fair or you're going to say actually this is better than what we have it rated as so we're yes, going to have we to won't go it back too. yeah uh i mean we, we also have like to take into consideration that people do things without permits right and that may therefore we don't know that the whole the interior value was got the interior of the house so they put a whole new bathroom in. Yeah, new bathroom, kitchen, no, yeah. And no yeah, permit. Redid all the uh, floors, whatever. I understand that. Okay. And I and just because somebody says it's overvalued and they don't think it, but but the slump shouldn't be changing without going in to look at. I think that's, that's right. What, that's what we're saying. But if no. we go in to look at it, it can change. Right. Okay. I gotcha. In either direction. Yes. Right. But but when it's my question is. Somebody put, I think somebody would put on, send an abatement if saying it changed without going into seeing it. So does that mean you have to go into see it yes. to, to do it? Yes. So they're saying, from, if they're saying that our determination of the interior condition of the interior of their house is wrong. Yeah, but we have to go see it. In no, order I, th to, I think she's saying that, exactly what Carla's situation was. Yes. You accidentally changed the bathroom. Right. Now that's to modern yes. instead of typical. That's yes. so I, I just want to make sure that you're not saying across the board it has to be done. Where if there was a change for no reason and you didn't go in and look, because I, I've seen things like right. that happening. We so, can correct them that. Right. Without saying, oh God, I have to go in and do that. And do yes. That. And, and some of that had to do with the program. Right. right. And the right. conversion. And the conversion. Mm -hmm. So but I, yeah, I, I think, do you know what I, I'm trying I to think, say? Yeah, I, I know. I think we yeah. all agree that. But if, if nothing's if nothing's changed on their property card and they're saying I'm really overvalued by a mistake, like say whatever, changing from average to good or better or whatever without going to look at it. And they're saying, well, geez, you shouldn't have changed. I don't know, because that would be a problem that the office did without going to see it. That could be. 
Okay. okay. They're rare, but that's, it seems to, yes, but we're acknowledging that it could it's happen. a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But. And again, every application is an individual. Oh, completely. Yes. It is very good. It's point. true. And, I, and, and I'd like to be able to say that we can look at it individually yes, and not copy. just across the board. Okay. And say, Each one is considered individually. Okay. But we have to have basic uh, yeah. rules. Yeah. Rules and steps yeah. that we take. I get it. Yeah. 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 Okay. We went out on site visits today. We were brave in the in the sleep and so forth. And unfortunately, they were doing spray insulation at the one house that we really wanted to see, but we were able to pick up a number of outbuildings and uh, can work on the data from them ready for approving values at our next meeting. So that takes care of that. Let's see. Previous ones that we haven't done. Yes, that's right. From the from the, from the, from the mm, a week before. ago. So um let me ask you this. Or how do we go about doing that? Do you come up with a property card with changes that we that we that you wrote down? Yes. And then we look over the property cards and say, yes, that is the new ones that you're making up. Right. And compare, and then we'll vote on them. As That's right. And to say that, yeah, if we can get together for another work session, like we were just in a little while ago, it's a great time to get that done, to sort out what the grade and the quality is, and then bring the final figures to the meeting mm -hmm. for a final discussion and vote. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. As you yeah. can see, it's not as simple as just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hope this was that. a good learning session for you this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> we have an interesting property, and you know, therefore, uh, I have no, the, we can't continue the conflict of interest. Uh, there's nothing to add to that yet. Other business. So we're tabling that. The, yeah. Right, we can table that. The, we had one chapter application left out where the second page had not yet returned. However, it's, uh, they're both in chapter 61, same family. And quite frankly, they do not need to report every year. They only need to report every 10th year when their plan comes up. So I think we can just uh, safely, safely ignore the fact that we didn't get the second page and simply set it aside. Uh, we don't need to sign it to renew them for next year. They're in it for their 10-year term. It's not an annual renewal. Mm -hmm. So the paperwork is somewhat redundant, actually, when we ask them for it every year. If we could just um, at least view, just check approved on the back, and I'll file okay. them away. Both of them say that zero work was done based on their, or, or zero work was done on their properties. Right. I think we'll put a note. The forestry plans, by the way. Yeah. 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 I will I will make a note to that effect on these two. I'll Perfect. write it out later. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, initial, just initial. Yes, please. Oh, actually, all right. That case, let me run them out now. Okay. No return due this year. So no page to compulsory. Well, I know we, we passed over this one, but did you not hear anything about the conflict of interest? We didn't. No, it was mailed later than I had intended. So I'm still waiting and we've had a holiday. So I'm still waiting on a, a reply. Oh, so, so you haven't yeah. heard any reply. Or anything. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, no return done this year. No, uh, no return due this year. No page two. There are two here, so. And today's date, one. Okay, let's move on. Uh, that one just acknowledge that note. Okay, two pages later. Okay. 
that gets rid of all the chapters completely, except for a couple of leans that we're working on. I left some on your desk. Did you? Okay. Not today. The other when yes. you were out the other night. Where am I signing? Uh, just put just a, initial. Just in note. Oh, initial, just initial. Just initial oh, after, okay. my, after the I was note. I going to say. Yeah. Okay. There okay, we go. Gotcha. Just, just acknowledging that, okay. that note. Okay. And it's in the recorded minutes as well. Okay. And we did have one sale of chapter land recently. Um, and the new owner has had the forest management plan amended to their name. So we'll be, I wrote up a new lien, which describes that and uh, also releases the old lien in the prior owner's name. So the lien now transfers over to the new owner for the balance of the forest management plan period. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be in chapter until 2028. Mm -hmm. Only five years, but they had already used up five, five years, years of the yeah. plan. So right. They just kind of continue it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So uh, this is, we had already accepted them as the new owners. So this is a matter of uh, signing the lien. If you'd sign on page two, uh, line two or three, because okay. um, Laura is going to have to be asked to certify, no, 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 no. notarize my signature on it. On behalf of the board, and it's just being, that one. Yep. So, okay. Yep. That uh, I'm signing that. Yes, this is the voted action of the board, because we voted it in an earlier meeting. Yeah. That goes with it. Uh, it's just check. I have to keep that with it to get it off to the bank. Yes. Uh, yes. To yes. That too. I mean, to the registry. Okay. Hey, under other business, we had looked at. Uh, the note to send out to people asking if we may come and do inspections <laughs> as part of our recyclical or our cyclical plan of reinspection. And by the way, the cycle for reinspections is 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is not three or five or whatever. It's 10 years now. They used to be six, but they upped it to 10. And so we are working within that cycle. Can I'm just because I'm new and I don't know how you go about doing it. Do you do like, um, because it's a 10 year cycle, do you do like 10% a year? Many people do. I like I to see, leave um, a, because it includes all of the exempt properties as well. You know, I like to do it in eight or nine years and have a little bit of time left over. Okay. Any that we couldn't get to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, so that that you do have a schedule as to how many you do a year. Mm -hmm. Try to do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our new growth inspections sometimes can count as a complete reinspection. When something has gone on the market and is fully photographed in the ad, mm -hmm. you know, they have 42 photographs. Mm -hmm. uh, that also counts as a complete inspection. It does? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. So uh, we had looked at this letter last week or the week before. And the one question was, are we able to say that it's an automatic denial on a refusal of interior visit? What it reads is after the delays of COVID changing to a new valuation system and recertification, we're getting back to our cyclical site visits. These visits help us to maintain correct information on properties so that they are taxed correctly to their facts and proportionately to other properties. A site visit is a great opportunity for you to ask questions. Our visit includes a look at the interior and exterior and new photos of all buildings and reviewing your property record card with you. We take about 10 to 20 minutes per property. We plan to go out on weather permitting and to visit your house. Uh, this, is, this is the date that we put fill in. Mm -hmm. If you cannot be there, could you designate someone to accompany us as we view your property? If you're not at home, we'll photograph and view the exteriors of all buildings, keeping a six foot distance or so from them. We don't go peering in windows. Uh, <laughs> if you would prefer to set up an appointment, we will be glad to do so. You can reach us at so on and so forth. Hope to see you soon. Three assessors names. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask for approval of this letter now to be used this year and forthcoming. It can be changed at any time, but would you like to look at it? Yeah, please. No. 
I thought you just mentioned something before this about um, going into the homes. Well, this says interior and exterior, right where your finger is. Right, right. So but if people- it brought up the discussion. Okay, you still there, Veronique? <laughs> okay, great. I uh, am, but it's funny to have it be on the other side of it going like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, shoot, was that you or me? That's why we're sharing the pain. <laughs> okay, we were just talking in on this letter. We asked for interior as well as exterior visit with no talk about abatement applications. No. If someone should choose to file an abatement application, that's when the question comes up of, mm. is it automatically refused? However, it's also when we ask for an interior. If we get an application for abatement and we ask them for an interior visit to support the questions brought up in the application, if they refuse, then we have the right to refuse the application. Right, I got that. Okay, but, but the here we're simply asking. Yeah, and maybe a lot step of, in. Yes, but a lot of people say no. That's right, and some say sure. Yeah, so especially if they know if we've asked nicely ahead of time. Okay, so I when you were saying that, I thought it was you were going to have something written in here that it's no. Okay, okay. I, 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 agree. I I don't think we need to ask for trouble. I, if right, they say right. come in, right, and we we can say, say we you know right, we would right. we would how did I put it? You know we ask for interior. Our visit includes uh, a look at the interior and exterior. In the past, we've said we've said we would appreciate the opportunity to view the interior of your home. I could do that, but I our visit it. includes a complete. I, I, just I, I like it just the way it is. Okay, like, good. It covers it. I don't what have do to think? say. Well, the state does a mandatory that they we anybody have, that we come into someone's house. No, it's private property. Yeah. So, I mean, one's home is one's own private property, and they determine does and doesn't come in. But anyone can come and ask whether they be an insurance man or well, it, well you can change it to. I just don't it like it. Includes to it, it should include. Because our, it says our visit includes a look at the interior. So it's kind of saying this is what our site All visit right. is. And I I just. For accuracy, our visit should include a look at the interior. Or we would like it, or I don't know. Well, just put, if you put should in there, that still gives them the option of saying no. Should include a look at the interior, exterior, and exterior interior. Exterior and interior. Well, of course you're going to do the exterior because that's what you do. For the most, well, for the most one, person to, one, person, one person used to refuse it. For oh, the really? most, yeah, accurate, he's passed away now, but one did. One did. He said, "No, don't want you on the property at all." Okay. For the most accurate assessment of your property, we would request yes. viewing both the interior and exterior. Mm -hmm. something like that something but just it's it's making it sound like it includes that this is what we have to do and i just i'm not so sure about that can i ask a quick question yeah oh okay sorry so there's there's two questions here right one is um just how a normal um assessment goes and then the other is whether you apply for an abatement that's right. Right. So two separate parts. issues. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So and if if you ask for an abatement and you refuse entry, then you're automatically denied. Correct. You can if, be. If, yes. If the, if the abatement right. if the abatement uh, is about questions of the interior, yes. 
Right. It's quite likely right. that they would be denied. Okay. Okay, great. I just wanted to clear that in my own head. <laughs> Thanks. And, and Not they, required they for also... a site visit, but you would think that you would want it to be as accurate as possible. Well, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody says, I want to pay only say... my fair share. And that's how we all feel. And that's how we all want it to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's very hard to determine what an individual's fair share is if they don't allow the property to be seen by the people who make I think the hard the thing is, I, and I, I think, you know, there are some places that say it's mandatory to allow assessors in. And I think that would be great. But it, the hard thing is if you go in some and not everybody. May I look at those two pages again? Which one? Those two that I, yeah, this afternoon's. Yeah. <laughs> so, I Lee, another, that's another I, question I for you. When, when you okay. mentioned that like, for instance, I bought my house five years ago, and there were full photographs of the entire interior, which yep. obviously can be used for an in internal assessment. What it was how like at back, that time. Right. Mm -hmm. How far back can you go with those pictures? I'm just curious. Well, those are a snapshot of in a particular time. We oh, right. have pictures going back to the 70s. Okay. Interestingly enough, not many interiors, mm -hmm. but we have photos, photo records going back that early. How do you know if someone's not sending you a picture that was taken 10 years ago? Oh, I know. You, you yeah. Must be done. But nowadays, like, hey, this is what if my it's bathroom digital, kitchen looks like. You can go back oh, and see when oh, it was oh, created. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 How do you know? Uh, yeah. Our, our local advisor right here says inspections are an intricate part of the abatement pro application. If the Board of Assessors are denied entry, then that is grounds to deny the application in its entirety. Um. Well, that's on abatements. But this we, is abatements. Yes. Okay. We're looking at I'm getting straight confused. Forward. I know. <laughs> yes, my time is running short. Let's not. Okay. Let's okay. Not go back to the uh, old we're, stuff. <laughs> we're trying to word this. Not, like ten all right. On the so that's right. Me. So I think we're okay with the rewording of this. This uh, the budget. Let's do the budget. I put in the changes that we made last week. Sorry, I didn't get this to you last Friday, Verity. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I have to have approval of the final figures. And based on the facts where we went a little higher on everything, we've gone up by 10% overall. And and so has the cost of everything. Right? I know. That, that's, you know. But that seems like an awful lot to ask. Uh, I did look, our stipends were last increased five years ago. So I did put a change from 4,800 a year to 5,200 a year which changes individually from 1600 per person to 1700 per person. That'll cover the gas. Yeah. <laughs> you can put in for mileage. We have, a, we have $75 in our mileage, our mileage fund. I've simply left the hours the same as they are for now. The finance committee will determine uh, an overall, what we call the cost of living adjustment, uh, what a kind of a raise people get. The next line is twenty four ninety for cartographic plus another hundred dollar to to allow us to have some extra buildings put in that hadn't been on the map previously. We raised the mail from eleven hundred to fifteen hundred for postage because we will be mailing mailing out a lot of property record cards this year. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, memberships, uh, dues, and subscriptions. We already pay two twenty five to the Mass Association of Assessing Officers. So we left that at 350 because should the Franklin County Association become active again, mm -hmm. which we hope, mm -hmm. that will Absolutely. be there. Tuition and meetings, 400. Office supplies, 1500. The toner for my print color copier has gone way up. Though. Yes, it has. From 500 a set to 825 mm -hmm. a set. Mm -hmm. And I expect to do it, if not- In paper if, too. Yes, yeah. paper too, yes. <laughs> so that's gone up. The equipment repair we've left at 750, which includes 535 a year for our maintenance on the Kyocera, our maintenance contract. And then valuation software support is going to be $4,061 to Tyler, plus $1,000 to Marshall and Swift for evaluation books. And our cartographic uh, GIS website maintenance is 2,900, coming to a total of 80,356. So I'd like your thoughts on that. Those are the figures that we worked out last week. That's what I, I, I'm 
I move that we go with those figures. I mean, the, the uh, finance committee may tell us something different, but I can't see that they're overly different than what they were. I mean, there is a bit of increase, but okay. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Of submitting this budget for the annual process. Okay. You'll have it in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now you know what to expect. Yep. Um, we have two warrants to sign for some of the uh, bills that were rebuilt. Um, we had done them previously, but I had the valuation figure in and not the tax figure. So I did them again with simply the tax figures. So for the tax and the community, community preservation fund and the tax. So we need to sign those. This this letter we can hold till yes. the next meeting and I'll reword. We rewrite it. Oh, okay. And then right? we'll we'll I'll sign reword it. it. We'll then initial we'll it or... initial it and yeah. be ready to go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this minutes. is this is one where we had abated him in full because the bill was wrong. And then you're two of them and we're reissuing the bill on both of these. Right. Okay. And gotcha. this is just the community preservation tax. They have to be warrant separate warrants. Okay. And then finish up what I have for other business is the local technical assistance request form with all of the various categories. I'd like to do it like we do pre-town meeting and ask each of you to choose what you feel are the top five areas of, of interest to you. Yes. Can I have you come around here for a second? So okay. I can show you what you need to do. Because and then we'll submit. I, I'm looking at the amount that you still have left, and there's no way I'll make my seven o'clock meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have this little square box here. Okay, you're going to click that. That's a stop. stop. That yep, yeah, that stops the recording. Then no, just end now. meeting. I don't know. I can do that. Okay, it'll okay. say end meeting and meeting for all, and then just close out Zoom, shut the laptop, unplug both of them, and leave it all here. And I'll take care of it in the morning. Perfect. I just, there's no, um, your pile is still way too big for me to get out in time. Have a good night, Verity. This is already. Thank you, you too. Hopefully they'll shut it down right and it doesn't record an empty room all night. You know what? I'll be here if anybody has questions too. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. So wait a minute, I'm not sure what this I'd is. I'd like to ask you to look at it. You can take it home. We can bring it back on Tuesday. Okay. There are a lot, it's five pages here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. And... Wait a check off which of six which you feel are are you getting some too? Yeah, I'll give it to him after you've had a chance at it. You can go first. It doesn't matter to me in the least. So oh. we just so you're aware, we're discussing this at, on Monday. Oh. Yeah. It's at okay, the board meeting on Monday. Yeah. Goodness and gracious. We can only pick the top three. The select board will choose the top three. Right. Which I'm might gonna... make it better or worse for choosing. I don't know. <laughs> right. So the general topic. <laughs> so we're supposed to be picking what we think are the most important. Is that is that the thing? Right, Veronique. Three of the top. But what are the top three most important that we feel is important? Correct. Sure. Yeah. So everybody's bringing and giving someone... me their choices, their top three. Then we're going to collate them, present them to the select board, and the select board will then choose. There are three finalists okay, well, that we will we can ask stay for. for a few minutes after the meeting oh, to goodness. do this. I have to read all these. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, we'll do it we'll, that way. We'll keep going. We'll do this right, after, after we close the meeting. Oh, okay. okay, that's good. Sure. That's what all that I have. Our next category is public. Oh, do you, does anyone else have any other business to bring to the meeting tonight? Not tonight. Okay. <laughs> any public comments? Have we anyone else? We do not have anyone else, I believe. Nope. Oh, I see by Zoom. No, not tonight. You're the only one. <laughs> Glad to have you. Okay. Uh, next meeting. Next meeting would be the first Wednesday in February, which is the first. Okay. Yeah. February 1st, usual time, 515. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so do we okay, want so, um, to we move to adjourn? Oh, no, you're kidding. At 6.30. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, then I'm still here and I can take care of it. Okay, cool. And now, that just for you. I know. We're going yeah. to work, okay. <laughs> we're gonna take a few minutes to work on this survey. All, All right. right. So that we can get it over to Veronique. Thanks, uh, everybody. Good night. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.